Bone pile. Uh, let's see. For starters, this thing's about to break. I can't repair it, so I gotta, I gotta just keep upgrading it. I'm gonna unequip it for a second. Oh, that's a horror. Oh, that was a landmine. Okay. Well, probably should have seen that coming. Drink you do. Drink you both. Let's see, I assume this is a demo. Nope, this is a full thing. Ish. Oh, I gotta find a workbench, though? I haven't seen any of those. So I guess we gotta explore. There's also a recipe stone unread. Oh, but it's a stone. Maybe I can just straight up read it. Okay, I need to make an impression. Okay, what do I need for that? I need treacle paper. I have no idea where I'm going to get that. Oh, while we're here, I'm going to favorite this. I don't know how to get that to work. How do I, how does favorite, how do favorites even work? No idea. Okay, and it looks like everything rots in this game. Okay. And no sign of treacle paper out here. Hmm. A lot of ice polyps, but they're not really that helpful. You know, we've got these, like, weird... lantern frogs. But it doesn't look like they'll come up, so I probably have to get a, a shovel or something. I was not expecting them to be complete cowards. Oh, wait, can I... Oh, I can loot the scrap iron. I didn't even realize. Ice shrimp. Uh oh. Okay, got that taken care of. Can I can I grab the skull here? No, it's just a bone pile. Uh, you know what? Considering I'm probably not going to be fighting much. Like, ow! Correction. Something decides to be a dick. gonna punch all the bones. Luckily, uh, everything that I need to make most of these resources are kind of in this area. Curious. What is ice shroom? What are ice shrooms used for? Health in a pinch, but beware brain freeze. I guess I'm just gonna eat the brains? I don't see anything that would net me treacle. It's a lot of nothing. Alright. Well, do we just wander south until we find something useful? Because, like, you'd think treacle paper would probably come from a, some kind of tree, yeah? Probably. Uh, well, I guess the easiest thing to do... You don't starve in this game. The only real... Oh, hi. It's a rusted cannon. I do anything with it. it. Looks like a weapon from an ancient war. Utterly broken now. What is, what is this? I don't know. Uh, probably more oil rocks? Now that I'm looking at it? Okay, well, we got something over here. Oh, and lanterns running out of juice. Repair. Let's grab our net. We probably want to... I don't even know what those are used for. It looks like bugs just... Ow! Bugs just last. Oh, and we're back to sort of civilization at the very least. I guess let's... 
eat these while we're here. I'm just kind of eating whatever, because I don't have a recipe for this stuff. So I might as well just eat what, um... I might as well just eat what I can. Okay, well, I haven't really found anything particularly useful here. Put it away. I wonder if I could, um... Ah, hold R to move. Because, yeah, my inventory is, uh, kind of inconveniently organized. It's just entirely based on chronology more than anything else. Okay, right. And I also want to... I want to put it away. Because if I'm going to be... I'm going to be here looking at this stuff. I'm going to be punching these. I just want to be able to pick it up. There's no... Huh. Yeah, it's just back to this biome. No real indication of any anything with treacle in it. Just kind of around. Ooh, you're creepy. You can dodge by pressing X. So that would be the ghost. I wonder if I could fight it. Probably not. It seems unwise. Oh, hello. Feral Child's House. Right, we gotta go find some more sour fruit. We've got a um, recipe here. Here. While we're at it, I'm just gonna equip this to repair it. We might as well pick up a bunch of these bugs. There we go. Okay, and let's quickly grab uh, some fruit too. While we're out here, did I grab any. I have one. I need one more. Looks interesting. I like it. Um, I think it needs a little bit more... It needs a little bit more time. I th Not time in development, but like... I think I need a little bit more time to, uh, to appreciate it before I can, um... I can give like a... an honest opinion on whether or not uh, it's like, don't starve, crash lands, or like, what? I'm, I'm definitely feeling crash lands out of this one. Let's see, do we have... We've got multiple recipes. I'm just gonna see if I can make a bunch of juice. Because I don't think uh, sour fruit juice decays. So it's probably better that I pick, uh, pick that up, that I go grab that instead. Where's the cooking pot? Cooking pot's over here. Gotcha. I wonder if all re uh, all resources kind of respawn, or if, if if it's finite around here. I don't know. Okay, uh, let's see, so I can make a lantern? No. We just want to make a bunch of these. What was that? Oh, you. Yeah, these polyps are honestly the most obnoxious thing. But if I don't give them uh, a whole lot of time to recover, they remain largely easy to fight. Actually, you know what game this reminds me of? There was a survival game I played a long time ago called Goliath. I never finished it because it was, it was getting kind of bullshit by the end of it, but... Uh, I'm getting very similar vibes to it. Okay, so back to making juice. All right, there we go. And yeah, I don't, I don't think sour fruit juice has a yeah, it doesn't have a durability meter. So I'm good to go. I'll have to make some more boots. I do wish uh, less games had durability systems. It, it mostly just kind of prolongs gameplay instead of actually making it. Um, Oh, you you can ask NPCs to show you where the mis missing ingredient is. Oh, okay, that actually could be kind of handy. I'll have to look it up. Don't you have a weapon? I do, but slimes are real easy to beat, so I'm just going to punch them. Do 
Okay, recipe was up over here. There it is. Okay, I'm just gonna punch my way through th through these. Okay. Recipe can hide, nothing else. Oh, it's got a creepy bird head hanging off of it. Okay, so pure water, pork, and sour fruit. Makes pork and sour fruit stew. Which boosts defense. And also does not have a um does not have a decay meter on it. So yeah, if you wanna if you wanna actually carry useful things. Unfortunately, no idea where you can get uh pure water from. Hey, nice pendant. It looks just like my glow staff. Does it protect you from the smoke like my staff does? No, it used to light up, but it's been broken since I got here. Huh. If you don't fix that, the smoke will get you to you eventually. The smoke's why the drear are all ghosty and addled. It used to be I used to be like them, but I found the staff in the wasteland. I cleared my head and I ran away as uh, soon after that. Ran away from what? From the furnaces, of course. They had me working as a sweeper. Thinking is hard when you're smoke addled. So you do what you're told. Look, I can help you fix your pendant, but I need a favor. A big old porcupine broke both totem levers from my workbench. I can't go into the swamp to repair them with the masters hanging around. But they let you pass, so maybe you can repair those two levers. What does that involve, exactly? Uh, depends how they're broken. You'll probably figure it out. But if one of the levers has a big treacle wisp next to, uh, nest next to it, you might want to make some gas bombs before you go. If you need powder for them, just crush up a few fire fireflies. Those wasps can be pretty painful if you don't gas them first. Alright, so there's our answer on the treacle. <sighs> Gotta go get a smoky polyp brain. Um, do we not have a fast travel point nearby? Now, I know my boots are about to break, I just... I don't know. Not much I can do about it immediately. Okay, fixative powder. Restores the health of your degrading weapons. Good. That's actually helpful. So those... Okay, that's where we need... That's where we get the treacle stuff. That's where we need the gas... As well. Okay, northern battleground. I'm probably gonna have to go get the, um... Gonna have to go back to the previous area. I want to see if I can fast travel, honestly. But I have yet to actually see another fast travel location. I do wish you could like rotate the camera around or, or something so you could get like a better view. Get back here, you roly poly monstrosity! I have a hunger for your flesh. I mean. Technically, I can figure out how to make some, um... I can figure out how to make the food. But I could just as easily... Punch him and... Just call it close enough. Honestly, like, pugilism works pretty dang well in this game. So far. I'm sure... I'm sure I will hit my limit at some point. Okay, let's just keep wandering around for something. Uh, because I, I want to find, uh, one of the polyps here. I could go back to the previous area, but I might as well kind of double up and explore what I can. I'm back. I do appreciate that this game does does involve all the uh, the crafting and stuff. It, I do, I enjoy crafting systems in games, especially as a way to uh, kind of introduce options to you. But I do feel like this is doing kind of the Zelda thing of just like, well, maybe not Zelda thing, but it like, it's a very classic adventure game of just like, go here, new problem, find out how to solve new problem, get item to solve new problem. Uh, you know, kind of rinse, repeat a bunch. It's never bad, it just ends up feeling, well, repetitive.
Punchy punch punch. Pick that up. Perfect. I'm. Oh, I don't think I can get anything out of that. I'm so glad there's no stamina or tired meter or anything like that. This would be probably more obnoxious if I had to worry about actual survival as opposed to kind of don't starve RPGing it. Did I just get the? I just got the tentacle. I didn't get anything else. Keep looking around. There we go. I knew I'd find some more polyps down here, so I figure I can just kind of wander around until I get one, then we're good to go. Oop. Not that damage has been a serious problem for me. It's mostly just all durability. Oh, he's not dead yet. I thought he would die. Give me your brain! Oh, that's a polyp brain. I guess we need a smoky brain. Wait, where the heck did we get the smoky brain from? Um... Oh, we have to wait until it's nighttime. That's how we get the smoky brains. Okay, lantern. Whip. Might as well repair. How many bugs do I have? I got plenty. Okay, let's. This is kind of slow. Let's just equip my uh, my club. Ow! These have got some range. So yeah, we might have to go out to the ice, ice ones. But no, there's there's the smoky polyp rain. We just had to wait for nighttime. Yeah, it's just it's just purely a uh, time of day situation. Okay, question: Can I make? That's tree equal paper. I'm gonna make a couple of these. Okay, so I'm gonna need some black powder as well. Let's go get some fireflies. I'm just gonna wail on hogs. Okay, so there's the... There's the wasps. Ow, ow! Whoa! Whoa, hold on. That's a bit much. I don't think that helped me. I'm just gonna run. Ow. Yeah, go figure you need the gas bombs. Those things suck. Okay. I can also get black powder from from the landmines all over the place. And it does look like everything respawns. I think. Looks like everything probably respawns. Uh, let's see, do we have anything else here? I guess I might as well grab some more um, Some more bugs. I, I might as well just hoard bugs like crazy. Uh, maybe the explosives don't. There was a there were a bunch of explosives around here. Okay, well, can I make some more boots? Yeah. By just more or less hoarding most of these, I'm good to go. Come back here, fire fly wasp thing. I need you for blasting powder. So I can make Explosives. I can probably catch one more, one more thing I'm gonna do. Get back here. There we go. Now, ooh, yeah, it's almost broken. So it, it's not, it doesn't break based on like uh, functional use. Like 
it just breaks whether you succeed or fail. Uh, I guess that's actually kind of okay. This looks like weird don't starve. That's what everybody's saying. I'm enjoying it enough. I'm probably only going to play for a little bit more tonight just because I've been playing too many things on the um, on my controller and it's starting to kill my hand. That's okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Avoid the ghost. Oh. Avoid the, the horror monster. Okay. We're just in the area. Okay, workbench. Okay. So, can't make any of these. Make a bunch of this. That was kind of wasteful. Okay, so... Bombs. I have a bunch. Lantern's doing okay. Alright. Let's find these bugs. They're up here. What am I... Oh. I think I know what I'm supposed to do. So let's equip that. Do we have anything else I can eat? I guess we've got juice that I can drink. I kept it around for a reason. Can I pick up the nest? Nope. Okay. Equip this. Chuck that. Okay, we've got Horror Man. Make inconvenience him. Ow. Oh, that's a stun. That's a stun. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I got shit to do. I'm going after wasps. And I need I need my finest whatever since. Okay, I should remember to Oops, not a unequip that. We want to repair it. There we go. Life is good. Found the treacle tree. I have the horror creature. Oh, there we go. Yeah, wow. It really is just wasp paper. Well, they all died. Let's just run away from from this guy. Oh. There's a tentacle. Luckily, the ghost really isn't that big of a deal. I wonder if we get to kill them at some point. Presumably. Okay, so what do I need to do? I guess, honestly... Let's get a rubbing kit times three. I'm gonna have to go blow up another nest. But that's okay. Um, we have another nest. Straight south. I've got bombs loaded up. It's time for justice. Wherever, wherever they are. Okay, they're over here. Problem is, it's not zoomed out enough. So I don't want to just like. Uh, what? Oh. Totem lever looks like it need a, needs a piece of wood for the lever. Fix two totem levers in the swamp near the feral child, child's home. How do we... How do we get pieces of wood? We've got branches. Um... Or am I just supposed to use one of my sticks? Insert. Okay, so all I had to do was just put a stick on it and we we're good to go. Perfect. Oh, let's see, where's the other one? That doesn't that doesn't help me. Okay, cool. So these are just marked. It would be, it really would be nice if when you were next to one of these things it would just be like, yeah, insert blank. But I guess we're fine. Okay, while we're here, I want to go over to the recipe stone. This one, at the very least. Uh, let's see, where's the, where's the paper? Oh. Rubbing kit. Okay, take a rubbing. Okay. Skull helm, hog hide, glitter dust, and a raptor skull. Gives me that. Do we head up for the other... Yeah, let's head up for the other, the other recipe stone as we go by. 
I'll want to go for the wasps, but we're kind of free to do whatever I want for a little bit. I wonder how common a lot of these resources are going to be later. I guess it'll be a lot easier to farm when I'm stronger and have better equipment. It would be nice if this had like an RPG tree or something that gave you like small benefits like uh... I know people tend to roll roll their eyes, but like little benefits like uh, durability, you know, increased by 25%. And you can like do that a bunch of times. Okay, glitter dust. Ah, that's how we do it. It really does look like I'm just gonna have to be farming everything over the course of this game. What is this? Ice oh, it's just an ice shrimp. Like, any non-perishable thing I should pursue constantly. And relentlessly. Like if it's if it's a resource that won't rot in my inventory, I want all of them. And if I can convert rotable or resources that will rot, then I better. Oh, did my net break? Oh, it did. Didn't realize it was breaking. Well, that's not that big of a deal. It's probably because I hit the bone pile. It'd be nice if there... Are you... Okay. It'd be nice if there was, like, a, a visible meter that would actually show, to some degree. When you're wielding a weapon. Because there's already, like, enough on this UI that I wouldn't say it's... Okay, these, these things are kind of pain to catch... Especially because, like, it's a 2D... It's a 2D character in a kind of 3D-ish plane. And everything breaks instantly. I guess the other thing that could fix it, I guess, would just be have, um... Okay, to finish the thought earlier, sorry. Ooh, bone pile. Oh, but I'm not gonna get... I'm not going to get skulls from these, am I? Uh, to finish my thought, it's a 2D character and operating in kind of a 3D-ish space. I guess it's a 2D space. But so trying to like take a swing at a thing is kind of awkward unless they're in line with you. Because it's hard to tell if you're going to connect or not. Okay, well, let's see if I can go back and find that wasp tree. Let's see if... See if the wasps are back yet. Oh, actually, we know exactly where it is. No, they're not back yet. Cause yeah, I wanna, I wanna get some more treacle paper if I can get it. Oh well, we might as well also pick up a bunch of this for juice. <coughs> Cause I need a bunch of like non-perishable things that I can just carry around with me. Healing is important. Death sucks. Oh, cool. Knock some fruit down for me. Thank you, Polyp. Now die! Oh. Now die! And yeah, no brains, but I didn't need them. Still gotta find out how to make a shovel at some point, too. That'll be later. Okay, seriously. Oh, there's some. Let's see, equip. Whoa! Okay. Now, I've probably wasted two of those, but that's fine. Well, we found Hogulor. Okay, and we also found a hell of a lot of stuff. Oh, there he is. He is pissed, and it's getting dark. Quick. Good. I might be able to fight him, but I, I feel like I should probably put that off for a little bit. Okay. Over here. Oh. That fruit went flying. 
Now we run. It doesn't do too much damage. From what I can see. But he is one scary sucker. Okay, uh, let's see. So I've fixed that. We should probably go back to... We should go back to her. My workbench is working again. Thanks. You're really nice. If you want to... Uh, I want you to have this. It's a better weapon than that old stick. Okay, so I can make bone machetes. Hey, sweet. And if one breaks, feel free to make more of my workbench. Choose favorite and weapons context menu to add it to your favorites left. list. Oh, you can press L and R to cycle through your favorite weapons. Okay, that's helpful. You're back. Need to use my workbench? Oh, I promised to fix your pendant, didn't I? But I've already given you a reward for the workbench. I'll tell you what, I'll bring your pendant back if you bring me sweets. I haven't had any for years, but I found the recipe for them. You'll need to get some treacle from the treacle wasps first. The easiest way, yeah, we already know that. If you bring me any crystallized sour fruit, we can be friends, okay? Okay, so we want to make some of this. And then let's make juice. Question, does the treacle decay? What does decay? Oh, it does. Okay, that's annoying. So we'll want to go get some more sour fruit, probably. All right, while we're here, let's make the fur jerkin. It takes, ah, oh, moss tuft. That's what I'm lacking. Okay, woof. That is an outfit. I actually look like I'm ready to go into battle. We're going to need a lot of bone to upgrade that thing. Oh, but we have two. Well, we're just going to favorite them. I didn't realize favoriting these would work the way it does, but awesome. Yeah, I wish armor didn't have a durability meter. I can work with the tools having a durability meter. Ah. Okay, press X to give. Oh, well, finally. Wow, crystallized sour fruit for me? Thank you. Mm. Oh. Why are you so nice? Nobody's ever... Nobody is ever nice to me. Wish you'd been my foster instead of that crusty old craftsmaster. Since you've been so nice to me, let me help you fix your pendant. You've burnt all the power out of it, but it's easy to recharge. First, you need to drink this. It's made from crushed lantern flies. Now hold the pendant and focus really hard on it, okay? Channel all that light power you just drank to charge it up. That should protect you from the smoke much better. And since I trust you, here's something else. Heretic's boots, hangar shell, brimstone, steel plate, shields against radiation and electrified floors. Huh. I found this recipe in the wasteland along with my staff. I don't know what it's for or how to make it, but, well, I have a feeling you might, make it, might find it useful one day. Your pendant will automatically repel the smoke as long as you have light in your light bar. You can use the light to actively shield yourself in battle by pressing B. Actively shielding yourself gives you complete protection from attacks, but drains your light bar quickly. I found the house and the workbench when I moved out here. I had to fix them up lots, though. You know, your pendant still isn't very bright. That happens if you start to feel lost and confused. Here, these will help with that. It's my own recipe. Spirit Sunday. Brush bug confection. Guaranteed to restore your light. Just watch out for the smoke ghosts. They hate bright things. Hey, now that we're friends, can I see your stuffed toy? What's the toy's name? Pachi? That's a funny name. I I know he belongs to your son, but you've been so nice. I had to leave my doll behind when I ran away from the mines. Please, can I have Pachi just to hold for a little while? You can take my puzzle cube instead if you'd like. I stole it from my foster, the craftsmaster. He's really clever. He probably knows where your son is. I expect he'll tell you if you bring him the cube back. Probably is. I don't know where you'd find the craftsmaster. You should ask the gatherers how to get to Moil Grind. Moil Grind. There's a tinker there who knows all sorts of things. I bet he can help you find the craftsmaster. And I bet that tinker is the dude we know about. Yeah, I wish the um the map would reveal in larger areas uh, around me. It feels kind of weird how how little is revealed along the way. Okay, well I'm probably gonna keep with the lantern anyway. Oh, finally. Okay, travel tube. 
Let's see if I can travel tube between travel tubes. Freely. Because if I can, that'll make my life a lot easier. If I can't, ugh, pain in the ass. Expensive pain in the ass, mainly. But I think we'll be fine. I think one of the reasons why I'm kind of... I'm not going to say, like, uh, super forgiving on this game, but, like, kind of light on it, is... I don't know. I don't get a whole lot of, like, cool light indie games to play on the Switch. And this one's uh, releasing on the Switch and the P and PC at the same time. I kind of appreciate that, actually. Because uh, it gives me an excuse to load the platform up. Kind of like what I was going to do with my um, Xbox for State of Decay 2. Whoops. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, let's see. So we're making progress. Shit's still breaking. And I've got a lot of locked chests around here that I'm going to have to figure out. But that'll be later. It'll be like tomorrow or day after or something like that. Yeah, we'll figure it out.